And here's your Weather Extreme video for this Saturday morning, September 26th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray sitting in for Brian Peters, who is on assignment this morning. And uh, we've got some tropical mischief in the Gulf of Mexico. We'll talk about that. Let's start with a radar picture across the southeastern United States this morning. The composite radar showing showers over eastern Tennessee, the Carolinas, the Atlanta area. Alabama mainly dry here at 615 on this Saturday morning. As we uh, take a look at the uh, infrared satellite picture, you can see some low clouds covering much of north Alabama. A few breaks down around western Alabama, allowing uh, some cooler temperatures. Places like Tuscaloosa, southern Lamar County, 56 degrees, 58 degrees down there uh, in uh, Pickens County, west of Tuscaloosa. Uh, 67 at the Birmingham Airport. But those clear skies allowing uh, radiational cooling and uh, allowing those temperatures to get down in the 50s while everyone else under that blanket of clouds staying in the 60s this morning. Upper low uh, rotating now, uh, centered north of Nashville over southern Kentucky. Big, broad, weak area of low pressure in the uh, middle levels of the atmosphere. That circulation uh, triggering lots of, uh, of light to moderate rain yesterday, mainly over northwestern Georgia, northeast Alabama. Some places picking up over an inch of rain there yesterday, but to the south and southwest of that, the showers have been more spotty, and I think that's the general trend as we go into today. This is the HRRR model for noon today across Alabama. It shows a few spotty showers lined up, mainly over eastern Alabama. We'll see uh, highs today uh, only in the upper 70s, uh, on eastern sides of Alabama, but if you go back to the west around Tuscaloosa and uh, down into uh, west central Alabama, you could see highs today in the middle 80s where there will be uh, fewer showers and a little bit more in the way of sunshine. Now, as we go through time, here is the GFS model for Sunday morning. And if you look to the south, you can see there uh, lots of disturbed weather in the Gulf of Mexico. We've got a trough of uh, low pressure now moving across the Yucatan Peninsula. And as it moves into the southern Gulf of Mexico, it's going to encounter more favorable conditions, and we could see a tropical low develop there. In fact, the National Hurricane Center puts the chance of this developing into a tropical cyclone at about 20% um, as it moves to the north. We'll see how that goes. The uh, GFS, one of the more bullish models, uh, beginning to show, um, you know, probably a tropical depression developing in that area. We'll just have to see how that goes through time. Look at the satellite this morning across the Caribbean. You can see some deeper convection there east of the Yucatan Peninsula. Still nothing really organized developing there. There is an upper low there over the western Gulf of Mexico, and that would influence the steering of this system. The uh, wind shear is a little bit more favorable right as the system moves off the Yucatan, so that's why we think there could be some development of it as a low. This is the GFS model for early Monday morning, 7 o'clock, shows the low in the central Gulf of Mexico, um, uh, almost probably some 300 miles south of New Orleans, moving uh, slowly to the north and maybe the north-northeast. Now, the outlier of the major models, the European doesn't really pick up on this at all, but this is the Canadian model, and it shows a more formidable tropical cyclone moving into the area near Homa, Louisiana, south of New Orleans, uh, at the 60-hour period, which would put that around uh, Tuesday morning at 12 uh, or at 7 a.m. around 12 Z. This is the GFS, which we're sort of relying on for this forecast. Um, as we look through time into Tuesday morning, we see the low now still south of the Louisiana coast. Lots of moisture being pulled up into Alabama and in the southeast. Uh, it looks like some of the heavier rains might actually fall a little to the east, if this is true. Areas from Destin up into western Georgia. But uh, we still would have a fairly rainy day Monday and Tuesday across much of Alabama. Now, as we move through time into Wednesday, the system sort of gets absorbed into a frontal system that's beginning to develop along the uh, east coast of the United States. High pressure uh, flexing its muscles there north of the Great Lakes. And uh, we begin to uh, dry out just a bit here in central Alabama. As we go through time through Thursday, we're still in a fairly tropical moist uh, air mass left over the southeast. A few scattered showers and thunderstorms developing, but uh, we'll lose the chance of major rains uh, by the late part of the week and drying out into the weekend. Now, this is the HPC's uh, high off the press, the latest rainfall guidance for the next five days. It shows uh, quite a gradient of uh, precipitation amounts across central Alabama, uh, ranging from around a half inch in northwest Alabama to about one inch in the I-20, I-59 corridor and then uh, increasing as you go to the southeast with uh, one and a quarter inches over south central Alabama to about five inches over the Florida Panhandle, southeast Alabama into southwest Georgia. And for parts of south Alabama, that would be good news. 66% of the state of Alabama now abnormally dry, not in drought, 
uh, only about 30 or about 17 percent of the state uh, mainly through the extreme coast or extreme southern and coastal counties are in drought at this time so this uh, rainfall would be much welcome for those areas that's your weather extreme video for the saturday morning september 26th i'm bill murray brian peters will be back with a video tomorrow have a great saturday hope your team wins and god bless